What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanic and today I've built something really really cool that's going to be super awesome for multiplayer battles and stay tuned to the end of this video because I actually invite Cosmo and we have an epic battle but you guys may have remembered a while ago I built this torpedo submarine and this is a vanilla build that has two torpedoes and the problem with this build is is pretty much this right here i mean it's just so complicated it is super super laggy and then this sub went along with a transport ship that you can explode and i'll put the link to the video in the description really really cool stuff but it went along with the transport ship and if you hit it with enough torpedoes it would blow up and the whole ship would explode it was wonderful and my plan was to use that in a whole series of navy projects that would really be super cool i had even built a torpedo bomber as you can see here and this uses one of the torpedoes it's a completely vanilla torpedo but even this is pretty complicated now of course it does use the wings mod and my main concern with this is in multiplayer none of this stuff worked because it was all just so complicated and so laggy you couldn't play with your friends and that really defeated the purpose of having a navy so i built something much better and that is of course this carrier and torpedo bomber combo it's fantastic we actually have four of them and there's no lag it's just there's just four of them it's fine and is absolutely amazing so the difference of course is they may look a little complicated but they're actually relatively simple i did use a few different mods to make this work so i of course use the wings mod i've got the mod pack for some logic i've got some naval weapons mod and of course some cannons but these things are awesome they are the ultimate like toy to play with it's fantastic and cosmo and i really had a lot of fun battling with each other so i just want to go through how they work uh, a little bit first you can see we've got some trackers on some aa guns as well to shoot down the planes they're all set to currently track their own planes but i want to just go through the logic on how these work and, and what they can do and then of course we'll jump into the battle so just like my old navy creations they are rigged with explosives down the middle there's a lot of armor it's all plastic and bubble block but there is enough armor to absorb a few torpedo shots before you get to that inner explosive core and if you get to the explosive core it will completely sink the ship it'll break it in half it's awesome door we're gonna do lots of that so of course we can drive the ship normally with wasd pretty simple stuff it only has a few thrusters because we're using mods i could actually really reduce the number of thrusters which makes the creation a whole lot less complicated and that's why they're able to get full frame rate without actually lagging and we've got literally four of them so we've got a bunch of controls uh one triggers the auto uh guns to shoot and now the guns are set on a range so that they'll only target a tracker within 500 blocks now the way the trackers work is pretty simple if you're playing against your friends you just paint your trackers the color of the other guy's gun trackers so your aa guns will only track the proper person for me and cosmo for example my tracker on my plane was painted white but my guns were set to target blue planes and Cosmo's planes were painted blue and his guns were set to target white planes. Now, of course, the guns will only target somebody if they're within the range. They'll always aim at them, but they'll only start shooting when the vehicle is within this range here, in this case, 500 blocks. And of course, we can just crank that up or change that, you know, with these two numbers. Really simple stuff. We've also got a remote control block here. That is because the plane itself has the ability to remote control activate the guns just uh just a thing that they have you know it's part of the combo the plane or the carrier could activate the guns uh the plane and carrier is kind of like one thing in the navy now you'll notice the scale is a little bit weird i tried to make the plane as small as possible compared to my old torpedo plane this thing is tiny you'll notice when we sit in it it's kind of ridiculous we're just we're absolutely huge uh, but the carrier is then just as long as it needs to be so the plane has enough runway to take off on it's absolutely amazing you can take we're, we're just we're rambling there's so much to unpack i spent way too long on this build and balancing it out and making it a good playable thing anyway we've got on the carrier five different autopilot settings two is just obstacle avoidance uh once you activate two it'll just go in a straight line and try and avoid obstacles there are two sensors on the front of the carrier which you probably can't see but right in the nose there you can barely see them there's a sensor at 45 degrees in either direction. Uh, three is obstacle following left coast. So it'll use the left sensor to follow the left coast. Four follows the right coast. Five does lazy circles to the left. And six does lazy circles to the right. And those are pretty much the only autopilot settings. So I can set this to four. It's now just going to automatically follow this right coast. And of course, we can customize the autopilot. It wouldn't be 
a build if we couldn't of course adjust how the autopilot works so they are pretty simple autopilots i do want to make a full ocean map and then i'll probably make a gps module for all these ships i've done gps before with the flying elevator 3d gps stuff so i could make a gps module as well but the autopilot is really just it's really more of a sensor avoidance detection system pretty much like what tesla's got going on and uh you know it's pretty simple we've got 200 and 300 and the one is the minimum range and the other is the maximum range. So if I set this to 300, I can crank this up. Now it's going to try and stay always 300 away from the shore. And then I'll crank this up. So it'll try and stay at least 300 away from the shore, but no further away than 400. And again, that's on a 45 degree angled sensor. So it's not always going to be, it's not like we're 300 blocks away. We're 300, you know, at a 45 degree angle. It's fine. Well, it makes sense. Don't worry about it. But anyway, that's the customizable aspect of the ship really cool stuff uh, i'm gonna leave the ship's auto guns here to target us with the tracker uh the interesting thing with this is this is kind of cool the guns shoot spud guns but this is a beautiful mod if you guys may have noticed i love this mod it's an amazing mod there's a naval parts pack mod there's also a custom cannons mod and and this is just amazing if we turn on the guns look at this they eject shells like this mod is super cool it's a mod that's got a ton of different cannon parts in it but the biggest thing is it's got these smart cannons where we can just absolutely change any of the settings we want we can even make them sound different we could also do like crazy different explosive modules uh oh i don't want to do that hold on uh muzzle flash yeah so i got the, the muzzle flash. i can do big explosion muzzle flash like so this is going to be a great mod if we're setting off like, you know, big battleship cannons and stuff. This is just, I can't tell what's going on anymore. Anyway, they don't destroy the plane. They actually knock the plane off the course. They have a high impact force. So when they hit the plane with the AA guns, the plane doesn't lose parts. But if it gets knocked into the water, there's a water sensor on the bottom of the plane. And as soon as it's in the water, the plane becomes crippled. It can't fire the torpedoes and it can't use its thrusters. So it's basically screwed. Um, so let's just... Let's just crank this off for a second. Of course, the torpedoes are reloadable. So here we go. We're going to take off in the plane and we're going to try and, you know, uh, yeah, this is the, the pain in the butt. Getting it. There we go. Getting in the plane on the moving vehicle. So two is one thruster. Five is the other. There are two thrusters. And that's because when you're doing torpedo runs, you're going to want to turn one of them off and go nice and slow. This plane doesn't have guns. All it has is a torpedo. It's really simple to fly. WASD, three and four to yaw. And then six, of course, to activate those anti-aircraft guns. But it just has a single torpedo, which we can, of course, reload on the ship. Originally, I had the plane on the water sensor with some explosives. So when the plane hit the water, it would explode. Or if the AA guns happened to hit the explosives, which were right next to the tracker underneath it. But uh, Cosmo and I found that when we tried that in multiplayer, the explosives left so much debris in the water, the lag got really bad really fast. So this way, with the planes just getting disabled, you can kind of go in multiplayer. And then you can, of course, take your lift out and delete it and anything else and blah, blah. But we're just going to line up on a torpedo run here. Hopefully get it. You got to be pretty low for these torpedoes. If you drop them too low, they'll go under the ship. These are, of course, from the Naval Parts Pack mod. Really beautiful mod. I'm going to use it for all sorts of stuff. There we go. Torpedo away. I put a hole in it. That's good. That's good. It's not going to be enough. If we hit a second torpedo in that same spot, that carrier is going down. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much two torpedoes. You can see we've got a hole in it. So now we're going to go for a landing. Now, landing in Scrap Mechanic is as majestic as you would think. Oh, I overshot that. Did I? Yeah, no, definitely did. Let's just let's just get back up here. Yeah, landing in Scrap Mechanic, you don't really need the runway. You need it to take off 100%. It's the wings mod. Um, so you don't have enough thrust to just take off, you know, off the back. Um, but you got you to gotta landing. You can just kind of drop the plane down on it. Or really, we could just crash into it on, like, a glide trajectory here. This might work. Of course, we can't hit the water. That would be a problem. But here we go. There we go. There. No. No. Is that... Is that it? Are we... Are we on? Okay. We just gotta... Oh, no. I missed the... Uh-oh. Oh, no. See? No, I missed. I missed. And now my planes... Yeah. Well, this is a good example of what happens when you... There, there goes the carrier. Okay, bye. And as you can see... My plane no longer works. If we uh, do get on the ground, you notice there's a bearing here. It's really easy. We can rearm our own torpedoes using, again, from this naval parts pack. They have a disappearing block part. Uh, so this the plane is a little bit complicated on the logic. But it's a lot of static parts. It's really, really nice that way. So I just take this and connect it to here and connect it to here. Uh, it's that one switch. And now my torpedo's rearmed. So you can do that live in a battle. Not too big a deal. My carrier crashed. Did I destroy the computer? Um... Did I actually get a torpedo that just wrecked the computer? Is that what happened? The computer... 
Can't tell. It's supposed to autopilot follow the right shore, but if I wrecked the computer with a torpedo... The computers are all right down the middle, so they shouldn't get wrecked. Or maybe I wrecked... Oh my god, did I wreck... I wrecked the front thruster. Oh my god, I crippled the ship in one torpedo. That's amazing. There's a thruster in the front and a thruster in the back to steer it, and then there's two in the middle to provide forward thrust, and it, it literally lost its front thruster, so now it's just kind of strafing from the back. Okay, well, let's go sink this thing and put it out of its misery. All right, all we got to do is put a second torpedo in the exact same spot. Now, the beauty of this mod is there are larger torpedoes, and I do plan on making things like destroyers and cruisers and, of course, battleships with the smart cannons and really just kind of expanding the navy. I know the plane scale to the carrier is a bit off, but I want to try and scale the rest of the ships to the size of the carrier. And, I mean, the plane will kind of be the odd thing out just because, you know, it's got to be flyable and easy enough to control and all that. But uh, I'm hoping I can build up a whole mini navy. And again, make them as simple as possible. Oh, it's another hit, but not a, not a, just making a bigger hole. But yeah, I want to make the navy as simple as possible so I can continue to have this sort of lag-free experience, especially in multiplayer. I think it's really important that, you know, we're able to spawn opposing ships and actually go and fight each other and uh, not lag out. That was why I love the submarine that I made before, the torpedo submarine in vanilla. But it gets so complicated once you add in the torpedoes and all the other things to make it go up and down and all the ballast controls and that sort of stuff that uh, it just becomes a laggy mess and you can't really do anything in multiplayer with it. So these ships and, and planes are awesome because, you know, I can have fun. There's still four of them back there on the map. I don't think I've cleared the map yet. And uh, yeah, it, it's just, you know, everything's fine. So it's kind of cool that that works. Anyway, let's see if we can hit this once more in that same spot. Of course, it does take multiple shots. I did tech. If you get two torpedoes in the same spot, the ship's dead. Um, or, you know, of course, you gotta get more. I'm going really close. There we go. That's gonna be in. Are you serious? It went through the hull and exploded on the far side of the hull? Are you? Oh my god. Alright, we need another torpedo, boys. Now, of course, these are the smallest torpedoes. There are going to be subs that I'm going to try and balance everything out, make it really sort of balanced and fun. So, for example, like submarines are going to have larger torpedoes, but the subs will be really slow and the carrier will be able to outrun the submarine if it has to, right? And, and stuff like that to try and really balance the gameplay out. And, of course, make everything reloadable. But I really like naval fights in Scrap Mechanic and I just really wanted to have navies that worked. And of course, when you're working on like the full scale of vanilla, everything's just way too big. So the fights just don't work. And uh, yeah, it's not not much you can do about it. All right, let's actually, let's, let's sink this ship. This is ridiculous. On a map like this, it's not really a big deal because you can take off off land with your plane. But uh, if it was a normal, like a full ocean map, this would be completely useless. That's right in the money. There we go. That's you're you are you are so dead. Yeah. Perfect. Sunk. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I am gonna upload this to the workshop. Uh this little combo here, mini navy carrier. I gotta write a description for it to give people explanations on how it all works. But it's pretty cool stuff. It sinks, it's you know, fightable, and of course you can fight with your friends, so just like Cosmo and I are about to do, we'll jump into a battle and, uh, you know, one carrier versus one carrier. Who can sink the other guy's carrier will be the winner. And it should be exciting because uh, we'll have AA guns fully shooting and protecting us. And uh, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Everything just sinks. Game over. Let's get to it. Alrighty, bro. Are you ready for the ultimate carrier battle? I'm ready. This I'm is, ready. This is going to be exciting. Uh, you're good to go. You moving? You're... I'm moving. I'm right. ready to go. I am I am currently moving as well. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I was autopiloting. Oh, no. Oh, no. I tried to get into my plane and I bounced off. <laughs> oh, is your carrier <laughs> still bounced... moving? My carrier is still going with my plane. You might need to spot yourself like a flying scooter to actually oh, get caught no. up to it. Oh, I don't. No. I think you swim slightly faster than the carrier, but it's gonna be no, a very... no. I swim slightly slower. <laughs> slightly sl okay. Yeah, just spot yourself a scooter to get back out. That's the only thing that is unfortunate with this. I wish there was a teleport. Um, mm, maybe I have to nice. put a teleport mod or a flying mod or something. Cause, yeah, totally. Uh, especially when we have multiple ships fighting, you know, we're gonna want to be able to get on different yeah, ships. Yeah, I would. Yeah, for sure. I'm oh, getting out boy. of here. I'm taking off full speed. Oh, easy, easy takeoff. Oh, I see. Oh, your car is following me? What? Why are you... Wait, <laughs> I'm going to activate the AA. Get the AA firing. Shoot oh, I just missed. I just missed your, your carrier, dude. It was crazy. Perfect. Perfect. How's the AA treating you? Uh, rough. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you... Oh, <laughs> that looks like a downed plane to me. That's a downed plane, sir. I gotta, I gotta swim back. 
Yeah, make sure you go back to your carrier too to, uh, you know, at least do a flyby to rearm sure, or whatever you sure. want to call it. It's hard to hit the carriers, man, because you don't have that much space to line up horizontally, you know? They're, uh, they're moving along the coast. What do I plug torpedo into? Uh, the, the logic gate. Right Where? Above, There's 50. The logic gate Is right it? above the button. Oh, button, right. Wait, it's always right above the button. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. That's, that's the water shut off, so your torpedo doesn't... You can't use your torpedo once you're in the water. That's right. Perfect. that would be ridiculous. Oh, dude, I'm lining up. This is going to be a good one. You can feel Don't it. Don't you dare. Don't right you here. dare. Drop that torpedo and full boost out of there. Is that going to be it? It looks good. Oh, direct wow. hit. Wow. Big hole. Wow. Even a hole in the flight deck. That was huge. Dang, dude. All right, I'm going that's back crazy. to my carrier. Going to rearm here. I'm just going to flop in. Oh, nice smooth flop landing. That was a good shot in your end, that's for sure. All right, all right. Arm up. Get that on there. Arm that up. Hook him into the... I see an enemy plane coming in. I hear the guns no. going. No. Oh, it shot... Oh, oh it that's shot... why my torpedo is... It shot the torpedo out of range. Nice, nice. Another Dang. plane down. Good AA guns. Let's wow. go. Wow. That AA is just wrecking my life. Dude, it's got like the impact force. You know, that's all it does. It really? Yeah, no kidding. I, the, my problem with scrap mechanic is the plane is so small. I didn't want the AA to take off parts because then, you know, you lose one part and basically your plane is no longer flyable, right? So it's... Uh, my carrier's autopilot is freaking out because I think there's a rock. <laughs> <laughs> it oh, doesn't there, know what to do. There is a rock. It, okay, it'll good, make it through. Good, good. Keep freaking out. We made it through the rock. All right. Give me some. Give me a chance here. You know. Oh yeah, that's your carrier. Don't worry. Yeah, that's we're my... good. Did you drop a torpedo already? Maybe. Where's yours? What are you doing? Are you... Oh, Nothing. I see a torpedo. I Nothing. See a torpedo. Just hang around. Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh, it, it missed. missed. It missed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go. I need to go find yours. All right, I'm gonna try and put a torpedo right on the front of your plane, or uh, front of your uh, carrier. Nice and low, low and slow, low and slow, drop, drop there. That looks really good. I was outside of your turret range too. Nice. Long range torpedo, it hit, it hit. Second hole on the Did side it? of your, oh, yep, wow. second hole. Oh no, Amazing. oh no, but your AA gun screwed me up. And I'm down, <laughs> I'm in the water. Oh no. Oh man. Bro, we... my plane is upside down in the water, and it's just throttling along. <laughs> oh, because the water sensor's on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you've broken the meta, unfortunately. I broke That's... the meta. You broke well, it. I'm surprised you haven't taken out any logic or anything. No, I put all the logic as central as possible, and I'll keep doing that for all the ships so that, you know, it's all contained. Right. I mean, I guess the only thing would be if I took out the, the chair inside the bridge on the one side. Right. But even then, the autopilot would still keep running. It's just that you wouldn't be able to manually change it anymore. That's right. Yeah, fair enough. Which, But that's a hard spot to hit with a torpedo. Maybe when I have battleship guns, they'll be able to do that Ooh. a little bit easier. And, you know, battleship guns will probably just shell the top of the carrier, wreck the flight deck, and then it's useless. I mean... Right. All right, I'm going to fly right by my carrier here. Nice little... Oh, my God. I got to pull up. Okay, we're good. We're good. That was close. Uh, sorry. I just want to see your ship explode, man. I just want to. I want to. I hit know. It. Well, I mean, I don't, but you know what I mean. I want to like... <laughs> see it just get split in two and blow up. It's gonna be great. All right, nice no, slow, geez. slow trajectory here. Nice roll angle. Okay. Okay, I gotta time this one. Time it. Here we go. Coming in nice and low. No, no. Nice and low. Don't do it. Don't do nice it. It's low. not worth Drop it. it. Drop it's it. Not worth Maybe it. is that gonna be it? It looks like it was too far back. Ooh, oh, it, it was a it dud! Hit it. it hit the side of it, did it, nothing! Yeah. yeah, it's going over towards you! Dang. Yeah, oh, it was a dud torpedo, no way! Now I gotta go back to my plane. Unbelievable, dude. That hit right in the back of your of your ship, too. Didn't blow up. <laughs> Crazy. Where's it going? Where's it going? Is it gonna go past? Is it gonna go past? Oh, I hit the oh, back! I hit. It broke my tail! The plane that's all my carrier and the AA gun's probably broken too. The AA gun's probably broken there, yeah. Oh, it looks like it, it took it. I don't know. The orange part of the AA gun, that's where all the logic for it is held. So if you break right. the orange. But yeah, I it looks like know. that Let's second try. one's not shooting. 
I gotta get broadside now, so I can hit you on the side, you know? Yeah, I will say, yes. the the explosives are not- there aren't explosives in the bow and the stern. So it's- right. you have to really broadside the, it if you want to get- The problem is with this map, is that that's like the easiest way to line up, because you don't have a lot of space on the edge right. of the map, right? So- oh, well, I sunk. This- I missed. Yeah, no, man, my, my uh, carrier is not- not in good shape. And you wrecked the plane that was on there, too, I think. I think you broke my AA targeting computer. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like my gun is constantly shooting now, even though you're not close by. Right. Like, you broke the distance calculator for it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, I think I think legitimately. The carrier's right here. I'm going to see if I can get on. Oh, god dang it. This is such a pain in the butt. Oh. Hello? Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. uh -oh. oh, I got stuck on a rock. All right, perfect, carrier. Thank you for getting stuck on... No, no, no. Carrier, stop trying to drive up the rock! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my Dude, god. my carrier's stuck oh, on a rock! Oh, I hit the rock in front of the carrier! My carrier's no, stuck on a big the rock! rock saved you! Oh no! Oh no! What is? Oh my god! There's a huge hole here in the front. Okay, oh, hold on, hold on a minute. The autopilot didn't see the. Oh, it dropped my plane off. Okay, so I guess that's good. Let's just let's just fix this a little bit here. Let's back up! Come on, okay. carrier, get off the rock! Get off the rock. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> I don't know. Is that, is that plane in good shape? I can't even tell. I'm gonna go float myself a new plane. Uh, bro, my carrier's not moving right now. I'm like, nope. you know, I'm under massive repairs currently. Oh, no. Well, not really repairs, but just getting, you know, getting rearmed. Torpedoes right. away! Did you miss? I hit it. But it didn't didn't hit the same spot. Uh, no, it hit it on the side this time. Okay, good. It's I don't, don't want to talk about what I just did. I really don't. What'd you do? <laughs> I see you very low to the ground. And I was not about moving. to hit the water, so I dropped my torpedo, thinking whatever, I'll drop it before it hits the water and logs out, yeah. right? And uh, it it blew up my the front of my own plane. Oh no! With my own torpedo. So we're I got to go back to my carrier. And... Amazing. I, I mean, there might not be a carrier to go back to, I'm just saying. Did you actually sink it? No, no, but, you know. There's a hole in the flight deck? <laughs> there's, a, there's a couple of holes. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so fun, like, judging the trajectory of the aircraft carrier and then, like, figuring out if your torpedo will reach it. Yeah, in right? Time. I'm just, I'm just being too, I'm flying too low to the ground to try and get perfect torpedo launches, and I Ooh. just need to be a little higher up off the water. Makes sense. All right, there's my carrier. Perfect. It looks like it's it's still it's still driving, so that's it's still going. That's it's something. still got its autopilot, I guess. So. Yeah, it's still autopiloting its way. Oh, it's got a corner taken out of the flight deck, but it's not really. Yeah, I hit it on the like on the left side, and yeah. it like kind of down low, so it didn't really didn't really do much. Is it gonna get to stuck top. in this corner, or are you gonna come on turn out of the corner, bro? Oh my god, it might actually get stuck in this corner. You think so? Yeah, it's it's. I need a. It's it's too stupid. Oh my god, it's gonna beat yeah. itself. <laughs> I I made the autopilot follow like the left and the right, but it also still has like a constant a stabilizer, and it's too stupid right. to realize that. I might need. To, I might need to tweak this. But yeah, it's too stupid to realize because it saw a rock on the left and the right. It doesn't have an override for one of the directions, gotcha. so it just it basically says, "Hey, there's something on the left, turn right," and it says, "Hey, there's something <laughs> on the right, turn left." So it's like, "Go straight." Right. Let's just. It's fine. I got it out of the sticky situation. I just landed. Oh my god, that's a... oh. Oh, I went through. It I went, went through. underneath, you, bro. You I lucky saw it. guy. I saw it go underneath. You oh. Lucky guy. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Right, going back to mine. All right, that was... Oh, that I found was... my other plane. I'm going to land and grab it. That was close, dude. Holy cow. Just a little bit. Too close for comfort. I will save you from your death. All right. By killing you. Oh, god dang it. There's a hole in my flight deck. <laughs> I fell through the hole and now I'm below deck. <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad this is actually working out the way I thought. If I can build the other ships the same way where they can take hits and not just instantly be out, you know, that's really the goal, right? right? Yeah, it's definitely. To, it's to have it be, you know, something that's actually got a little bit of... I need to make this plane getting into easier, though. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's get out of here. Still enough flight deck to take off. Nice. Especially if you go when the carrier's driving into the wind, you know, or, like, right. driving straight, you can... 
Alright, where's your carrier at? Don't worry about it. It's probably like the other side of the map at this point. It is. It, it really is. It's like flat up. Right, I'm just flying up high. I'll have to make a high altitude bomber at some point for this too. Like just a bomber that drops depth charges, you know? Like the old right. school submarine hunters used to. How are you going to aim it? Just you won't. You hopes just, and dreams? You just have like 20 of them and hope for the best. <laughs> Alright, I see your carrier. It's slowly moving. I see it. Okay, it's got a whole... You need to aim for that back back left quarter. Flanking, flanking. Oh no, I'm, I'm way too much. Way too much. Way too much. And drop. Was that it? Was that it? Oh! You took another huge hit right next to that spot. You're still driving. Your flight deck's like half gone on the back. I can't believe that wasn't enough to take it out. Alright, I'm gonna land on mine. This nice, oh, perfect landing, 10 out of 10. Not actually, it was pretty scuffed, but it's fine. I mean, better than my landings in my carrier. Dude, I just like float land. Even if you try and land uh, like proper, it doesn't seem to. It doesn't do it, no? No. Okay, this is, this is bad because I could potentially hit my own here. Yeah. Oh my God, my carrier's like dodging and weaving and I can't get the torpedo <laughs> lined up. All right, oh, there we go. Neither can I. Oh, what? What oh. just happened? I don't know. Did you die? No, I like. What? That's so. Oh weird. my! I like, got I shooting at you. I got yeeted out of my plane. Oh well, that's unfortunate. Your plane's in the yeah. water. Yeah, my AA gun's still going. It's actually still going real well. All right, here we go. Is this enough runway? Plenty of runway. Perfect. You taking off your carrier again? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. They just Crazy rearmed. guy. Rearmed, took off again. Amazing. Yeah, man, gotta gotta live that carrier. If we were playing on a map with no land, that's what we'd have to do. You know, it's just true. True. Oh god. Oh god. And tree, tree. release. Is that it? Is that it? It's gonna hit. It went through. No, it went through your carrier. Blew up on the other. It went into the hole and came out the other side. Unbelievable, dude. Crazy. Unbelievable. Come on, bro. You got to get it at this point. What's going on? I know. I have no glass left on my get plane. It before it's, I get yours. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I got to go back to my carrier. Rearm. Unbelievable, dude. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Come my on. goodness. Come on. I got so shot out by your thing. Oh, God. Wait, I did, what? too. I was going straight at you. I lost all my speed. Dude, I sunk your ship. I what? sunk your ship. Yes. What? It's, it's done. It's gone. How? What'd you do? <laughs> I just went broadside and shot my torpedo. And you got it? I got it. Unbelievable. I mean, I'm dead in the water, but I got it. <laughs> well, good news is it's wartime. I don't I don't have a place to land anymore, but I still have one torpedo. Dang, he's going broadside too. Got him, he's man. That's where all kill. the holes are. That's where all the <laughs> holes are. Oh, the guns. The guns are shooting. Dropped. Dropped. No, it missed. Nice. It took a oh, curve no. and missed. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Cosmos okay, Carrier I'm gonna, I'm gonna... lives. Unbelievable. I guess it does. Yeah. Unbelievable. So many holes in it, Jeebus. Dude, and you you're have... getting shot out by the AA gun. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> well, GGS, uh, that was that was GGs. a good fight. I didn't get to see your, my carrier explode though, unfortunately. I know. I it know. Was, it was on the other side of the map. All right, and uh, there we go. Oh no, is it coming at me? Is it is it good? It's coming at me. Oh <laughs> it did little... not get it though. Oh, 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 oh it dig. hit the front. It so hit I gotta, the front. Okay, so I know <laughs> the size of your ship now. We're playing battleship essentially. I'm that's just right, trying, that's right. Yeah, gotta now you just gotta right go middle, somewhere in the middle, bro. Right in the just middle somewhere here. in the middle. <laughs> here we go. I just gotta put this one. I can't believe you sunk my ship, man. That was insane. That I was, know. was so good. I'm sad you weren't there to see it. Well, you know, I was busy trying to sink your ship. There we go. That's the shot right there. Are oh wow! Are, are you serious? I'm, um, dude. Yeah, you're like one, two, three. You're like three bubble blocks away from the actual explosives. <laughs> There's no way. All right, here we go. This is it. All right. I think you put more armor on mine. Let's just. Oh, oh nice. There we <laughs> there go. There we go. Finally. Ah, oh, dang it, dang it. I'm so disappointed. Well, GG, man. That was fun. That was fun. I can't yeah, wait to make really more fun. more mini ships and uh, have For more sure. battles.
But uh, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below if you have any other ideas for, uh, you know, mini Navy ships to build. Uh, the scale is kind of wonky on some of the things. Obviously, the planes are too big, the carriers are too small, but try to keep everything reasonable and make them fun to play with. And, of course, then eventually we'll get bigger and bigger battles going. But uh, let us know what you guys think, and like, subscribe, yep. and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.